What's your names? Noah. Josh. Ben. Dushan. Peter. Do you guys know who Andrew Tate is? Of course we know. Cancel him. Bin him, mate. Bin him. Huh? Put him in the bin. Okay. Get rid of him. And why do you say that? He's, he, he's, he's a bad role model for the younger generations. I think he has like controversial opinions just to push marketing, but I think what he's saying, when he's not saying about marketing, I think it's a good stuff. It's a broad statement saying he's a bad example for the younger generation, so a bit more context would be welcomed. Brother, to be honest, he's the messias, you know. The, the, nah, joke, jokes, jo jokes by side, man. Uh, he's doing great work. The people are, are taking his... He also he has to um, to keep up the show, you know, to, to get the views, of course. And But but if you really listen to the stuff he says, and, and he changed my life, for sure, and his too, and, and the whole generation. In what way? Oh, I feel like his ultra-masculine, toxic views, they... Although what he does try to portray, like, he tries to make you think, like, you know, be big, march on strong, but then he's teaching the younger kids that... Being March on Strong, if you're not that, there's nothing else and you're nothing. And you should treat people like shit to become that way. You get what I mean? And I feel like he just projects these values that um, devalue other people's opinions and stuff. I don't know, I think he has some, some wise words in him. So he's just basically saying, strive to be the best man you can be. There's nothing harm about that. Sure, he's pro he has his own way of expressing that, but I think... Just, just read the message he's trying to portray. Stick to it, and you'll be alright. If you overthink it, and if you, if you try, try making everyone love you, and and, and not being cancelled, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna see the message as it is. So. Uh, he's advocating. He's advocating. He's advocating to uh, get off your, out of your comfort zone, to uh, better yourself in in every perspective and in every. Um, yeah, in every perspective, is it the, the mental, the physical, uh, of course, also philosophical, and yeah, man, great. I don't really have time for him. I don't really, yeah, I don't really care too much. Masculinity, like, wouldn't you say that's just masculinity and not toxic masculinity? Oh, no, I, I would say that it's becoming toxic because he tries to portray that if you don't have these things, you're lesser, and you should treat people differently to, to get to that level. Yeah, I think it's faked. He's talking about people that doesn't don't want that you talk bad about them. So, at the moment, we know Andrew Tate is in prison, um, incarcerated in Romania for grape and trafficking charges. What's your thoughts on the current allegations against Andrew Tate? I mean, he's obviously in there for a reason. He wouldn't be in there if they weren't somewhat true. He's in there because it's an allegation, because of suspicion of doing it. Oh, the Matrix. It's the Matrix. So it's not, they're not going to lock someone up just based off. To be honest, I'm a very open person. I'm really I'm open for every opinion, and that's in my in my opinion that's that's the uh, first important thing that you uh, an opinion that they uh, portray on social media. So he's obviously done something to end up in there, but I suppose in, mate, innocent till proven guilty. Um, but we'll, we'll see see what happens with him. But I feel like if if he's done those things, he should be in there. If he hasn't, well, he shouldn't be in jail. I think the court, the, the court, the court will decide if there are, but I think they don't are. Mate, there's two sides to every story, isn't there? There's two sides, there's two sides. I, I, I suppose when you get into the more nitty gritty stuff about it, when you're talking about um, people, people being assaulted or whatever, like you can't really um, take away from the fact, it's very subjective to what happens. Like you could, you could touch me right now and you could say that you, I, I've been assaulted. Proper female entitlement, isn't it? <laughs> uh, listen to everyone's opinion, and and afterwards you can choose if if it if it works for you or not. At the end of the day, it's what the individual feels, and if they feel uncomfortable with the situation, well, they've got every right to speak up about it and say that they have been assaulted or mistreated or something. So then it's up to the the higher powers to to solve that problem for them. That's why we've got court systems, you know. And what is happening? Uh, in this time is the, the opinions are not getting accepted, you know? Facts, facts are being overruled by feelings. Yes, yeah, for sure, for sure, man, for sure, for sure. The, the people are, in general speaking, the people are getting, uh, letting their feelings take too much control of them, you know? And especially for a man, it's, it's, it's very bad behavior. A man has to 
think logically and and think okay what is the that's my current situation how am i going to act and i've also always when I, i've got also some some very leftist uh, friends and female friends and i always ask them on the topic uh, on on andrew taken and, and speak about them because i'm really i'm genuinely is interested in how they think and and maybe they're right maybe they are because of that i always say i'm going to listen to them and afterwards i'm going to evaluate what is the most log logical thing and um what do I believe in? Yeah. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Free my brother. Gee whiz. Hey, hey, you, can't, you can't say that. Just <laughs> look at the camera. <laughs> so, I'm going to say... Yeah, I've, I haven't seen no evidence yet, so I think not guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. Guilty.